I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is June 22nd, uh, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to be replacing uh, a hard drive on my laptop here that I'm actually using right now. Uh, currently has an M4 SATA, let's see, it was a Crucial M4 256 hard gig SSD hard drive. And I'm going to be replacing it with an MX300 that's 525 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, and now there's some reasons for that. One of the reasons I'm replacing it is right now I did a video before. And in this video, I, I noticed I was running, uh, where are you? I was running Crystal Disk Mark. And I noticed, there, there. and I noticed, uh, that my speeds had degraded in half. And so I'll put a link to this video here. And in this video, um, the speeds had gone down by half. And since then, it seems to have degraded a little further. And right now, as I videotape this, I did a video yesterday, and my video recording was choppy. It um, looked actually pretty bad. And so I imagine this video might be bad, too. I might be a little clunky and not working correctly. And right now, I'm blaming the hard drive on that, because uh, it's gotten worse. So what I wanted to do is kind of a before and after here, and also to fix it. So right now, uh, I'm going to put a new drive in. Hopefully, it'll fix the whole thing. Uh, but also, someone wrote here, here, sir... Who wrote this? Surject. Um, uh, someone wrote here. Maybe it's not there anymore. Okay, someone mentioned to me that it was the firmware issue, that if I upgrade the firmware on the drive, it'll fix the problem. Uh, however, if I do the firmware and I have a problem, it's my main hard drive, and that's going to cost me a couple of days. It's going to be a pain in the neck. And it's kind of filling up anyway. So I figured I'd take the take the uh, time now, put a bigger hard drive in, make sure that works, uh, and then go back and fix the firmware on there to see if it actually fixes it and then show you guys that because maybe it fixes it, uh, but also to show the speed differences. So I'm going to go do that now. But before I do that, let me go run the Crystal Disk Mark one more time. And we'll see the results here. So I'll run it just at one gigabyte size and just run all of them. Okay, there you go. So you can see, still not doing very well. Uh, so there's the numbers. So now I'll go get the second drive set up and installed, and we'll see the numbers on that. Okay, so I have the new hard drive installed, and here I have my device manager up, and you can see that you can see there is my Crucial CT525MX3. So this is my 525 gigabyte uh, Crucial MX300, and it's working. But I got a problem. I'm not getting what I thought I would. I did clone the drive, so I'm an exact copy of the drive, um, but I'm kind of getting some more results. So here, just to be a little more precise, I ran the speed test while I was not recording, and this is what I'm getting right now. And as you can see, I was getting 275 and 255. And here's a, an image of my old recording uh, that I did just prior here on the old drive. I was getting 23, 247. And so you can see it's very similar. I did get some improvements in sequential writes, uh, like, you know, from 1 and 9 to 250, but not what I'm expecting. Uh, here's an image from an old review uh, that did a lot of tests, and this is a test of the MX300, and you can see the speeds here, 534, 514. So, you know, I'm expecting the 500 range, so I don't know what's going on. It's not... Merely get a new drive did not fix it. So I'm going to go through step by step and see what solves it for me. I don't know. Um, it could be need to reinstall Windows or it could be some other stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, what I did find, though, is I did find this page. And I'll uh, zoom into that. So I went to here. Is your SSD slow? And they went through a bunch of suggestions. So I'm going to start going through some of their suggestions and see if I can find that it's going to work for me. So and it, once I find it, I'll add it to the rest of this video, and we'll see what actually worked and didn't work for me. But it's a nice place to start if you're like me, and it looks like it's slowed down. You can't tell why. Now, in the end, it could just be my system. This is a um, this is an older system. I've had it for about five, six years now, which is pretty sad. Uh, but I'm going to be in a new computer here in the next two or three months, and when I do, if I can't fix it, uh, I may take make, I may make another video and just transfer this hard drive to the new computer to see what the results are there. Because if I can't fix it, 
Maybe it's just the machine. And I would like to prove that too at some point. But anyway, I'm going to start going through some of these fixes and see what I can actually get to work. Okay, I did discover a few things as going, going through my system. Number one, I don't have many options in my BIOS. It's an HP laptop, and that's pretty typical. Uh, one thing I did discover to actually make things better, but not perfect, uh, was power options. And that was suggested in the, in the website I showed you. And so what I did, here's, here's the result I just ran, and that's kind of what I was getting before. Uh, but you can go down and search for, and this is Windows 7, search for power options. And apparently, you know, I've been using balanced, you know, but apparently if you go to high performance, there's some changes in there that allow it to go faster. That, um, so let me, let me just change it. I'll change it right now and we'll see the 4K Q32 Ti about double. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, I had to go look it up myself what that test is. Uh, let me go pull it up here. It is random four kilobits read and write with multi multiple queues and threads. So it's you know a pretty good test. Uh, now if I rerun this, those these will be close to the same except for four, this 4K test will about double. So let me go run all these. Okay, now it's not quite a fair test right now because I, as I'm recording, it actually is right into the same disk. But you do see these improvements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here, video. To, I'm going to stop video in here, and then run it without the video, and then bring it back up because you can see here's a snapshot of what I did before, and you can see the numbers are quite higher. But I'm going to stop the video and just rerun it without the video, and then start again. Okay, so there's the numbers I was expecting, about 200 and 151. Now, it may be the case that I can go back to balanced and tweak some numbers and just figure out what actually makes the uh, hard drive faster. I don't need to make everything higher end. Um, running, running hot, I guess. I don't like that. Uh, but it's better, but it's not quite there yet. So now my sneaking, the next sneaking suspicion I had was that I'm running kind of like a set of two level. And if it was running on SATA 2, that would make sense because I'm, you know, that that should max at about 300 megabytes per second. Uh, so what I did is I went and downloaded uh, this guy, HW Info. I downloaded 64-bit and ran it. And what I got, I just wanted to get the, the information on where I am at. Okay, let me open this guy again. We'll run it, get the current data. And going down here to the drives, though, it says SATA 6 gigabytes. So I think that's fine. I'm not getting SATA 3 gigabits. So I don't think that's the problem either. I don't think I have a SATA 2 bus, which would make no sense for the age of this computer. Uh, so at this point, I think the drives are fine, I'm guessing. I think there's something with my system that's refusing to let them run faster. I don't know if I need to reinstall Windows, if I... Maybe one of the cords is bad. So I may run a few more tests here, uh, but I eh, it could be a bad cord. Um, I'll run a few more tests. If I get somewhere, I get somewhere. If not, I may have to wait until I get another laptop because I don't have any other system I can stick these in right now that would show me a good difference. That, that, would, that would be a good test for me. Um, okay, so next tips, uh, swap some hard drives out and some cords and see if, I can, if that'll fix it. Okay, more fun. So I downloaded CPUZ from CPUID.com. And there's the URL for that guy. Um, anyway, I downloaded this tool to analyze some things. So I ran it because I wanted to see what chipset I have. So according to this, I have HM65s on Sandy Bridge. And I kind of wanted to see if that had SATA 2 or SATA 3 support. And so with that... I went to one of the Wikipedia, many Wikipedia pages on the subject. And in this particular one, there's the HM65 mobile chipset. And we go over here and we see for the SATA for 6 gig and 3 gig, it's got two ports for 6 and four ports for 3. So there should be two ports. And this thing, they should just be used for the hard drive. So in theory, I'm good. Um, it's just not working. So that's good to know that you can get some tools to look those things up, but I think I have SATA 3 on my chipset. I think it's connected through SATA 3, so in theory it should be fast enough, but it's just not working. And also, on another note, I did download 
for the crucial, I did go to the crucial website and download the the um, firmware updater, and so I did take a picture of it because it does reboot your computer. And I took a picture of the process, and I'll see if I can post it here. And it it did update the firmware for the second hard drive. Um, and so now it's been, now it's up to date on the second hard drive. The, the new hard drive is fine. I should say the old the old hard drive got updated. The, the new hard drive is fine with its updates. Uh, but still no go. So I can sit here. Yeah, I'll reduce this down to one. Uh, this is only run once. And if I run this again on the second hard drive, we're still going to get lousy numbers. So there you go. So the numbers are still not what they should be, what I'd expect them to be. But at this point, I don't know if it can be fixed. It could just even be the cords. Maybe the cords are not SATA 3 compliant or they're just a, I don't know. Um, and I'm going to be replacing this computer anyway in the next three or four, two to four months. So it's not worth too much struggle, but this might be useful to some other people to try to look up information. How do you look up information on your chipsets and whatnot? But I got a feeling it's just defaulting to SATA 2 somehow, even though it should be SATA 3 compliant. Uh, I think the hard drives are fine. I think it's my system. So I have to take back my first video. The SSD did not, I don't think they degraded. I think it's just my system. Either there's something wrong with it. Well, there's something wrong with it. Either the system originally couldn't hack it, or there's some tweak that I'm not seeing that if I tweaked it, it would fix it and they'd run fast. But it's not worth too much more struggle knowing that I'm going to replace it in a few months anyway. So anyway, that's kind of the end of this video. I hope it helps somebody or at least might have been interesting. I don't know. It didn't help me much, although I did find a little bit about the high performance thing. So that was useful to speed things up a bit. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.